This video is going to show you how to create an installer. So the program will run on another computer, even if that computer doesn't have Visual Studio or any of the other necessary files for it. Um, we're going to start by changing the configuration of our project to release mode. Sometimes we have a platform option there as well. And we are going to build our project. This might not be necessary if you've run it recently. It will already have been built, but if you just change it to release mode, it's a good idea to build it again. Now we are going to add another project to this existing solution. Within the other project type, set up a deployment group, or you choose a Visual Studio installer and choose a setup wizard. You can set a custom name for the setup right there on that screen. For this one, I'm just going to leave it as the default. And you need to make sure to choose the primary output from whichever program you're trying to build. Mine just says test. You choose to add other files if you wanted to, but we don't need to. You'll see that now in the application folder, and that's the, on the, going to be on the target machine where we install this. We're going to have like in the program files, there's going to be uh, an entry for this program. I'm also going to choose to add a shortcut to the user programs menu. And I did that by right clicking and doing create shortcut. Now you'll see dependencies uh, listed in your setup uh, project in the solution explorer. You can refresh those and make sure you have all of them. These are the other little hidden files and folders and code that's going to be necessary to run your program on the other computer. Uh, we want to now build that setup project. Just by right clicking on it. And this is going to create some files in the uh, projects folder for that setup project. In the release folder, it'd be a setup and a setup2 or whatever you named it, uh, that MSI folder. This exe is what you'll need to run on the other computer, but you can move both of these files, put them on a flash drive or something, and double click the setup on.